I am going to introduce you to the gospel right now. You are a rebel. Whether you want to acknowledge it or not, I'll tell you straight up. You are a rebel against the living God. This is your natural disposition. Why? Because you were born in sin. We are in a prison cell. And it takes the awakening and the grace of God, you can call it the provenient grace of God, to awaken us to the fact that we are lost and we can't get out. We're headed towards destruction fast. The enemy, because of our rebellion against God, has legal rights to harm and harass our life. There you are behind the prison cell. Oh, but get out! You can't get out. Those prison bars are stronger than any adamant. There is no way you can cut them because they're stronger than diamond. It is impenetrable. You cannot escape. You're doomed because when the enemy comes in in the very end and he's going to finish you off because he has legal right to do it and he's going to relish every minute of it. In strolls your intercessor, your mighty man. And he stands between you and that accuser, and he takes the hit that was rightfully yours. He takes the blow that was intended for you. That is an extraordinary reality that he was turned to a pulp, and he actually died. God died for you. Over your prison cell, it has always said, condemned, separated eternally from God, guilty. And then suddenly it switches. When you realize what Jesus Christ has done, it says justified. It says forgiven, redeemed. Here's the problem. Most of us have stopped with the good news right there. The blood of Jesus Christ has been shed and he was killed. Now I want you to know that is unbelievable news. But we are still in a prison cell. And so we're praising God from within a prison cell going, thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for changing the sign on the outside of the prison. And God's word says, could you check the door to the prison cell? Because my blood was shed for more than just forgiveness. Forgiveness was the avenue through which he could make the escape for us. He isn't just interested in dealing with the consequences or the penalty of sin. He's also dealt with the problem of sin. Test the door. It's unlocked. The door to the prison cell is unlocked. Walk out. out. Smell the open air of freedom and liberty in the life of Jesus Christ. I have a commission for you. For me? You want to have me work for you? I want you to work for me. I want you to represent me. Absolutely. Anything I can do for you, just tell me. I need you to go back to that prison cell that I took you out of. Because there's a whole bunch more that need to know about me and my love and my truth. Will you go for me? In a heartbeat. I would, I would gladly serve you. Any way you want. Any way you ask. I need to forewarn you. I'm going to send you out. And you'll be as a sheep among wolves. They'll kill you. They'll destroy you, they'll hate you, they'll persecute you. They will do whatever they can to harm you. I'm in. I'll do it, God. I don't care. You shed your blood for me. I would gladly shed my blood for you. Take my body. Take my blood. Spend it any way you want. I belong to you in in covenant. Take me, Lord Jesus. Send me. The commission, not just the penalty, not just the problem, not just the invitation to his very near presence, not just the adoption as a son and a daughter of the King of Kings, but we are commissioned to represent him. And I want you to realize that is a privilege beyond all other privileges, to bear the very name, the very image, the very reputation of God Almighty. And he says, I ask you to go.
Praise the Lord. Get in the streets for Jesus, man. Let people know about the love of Jesus Christ, you know. Try to reach all the gang members, the drug addicts, the drug dealers, the lonely mothers. You know, just let them know, amen. Jesus loves them. We love them.